Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, I'm Tom Roth. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. So this weekend, the Star City Games Open Series comes to St. Louis, Missouri. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be playing some Legacy today in preparation for that. A uh, little bit of a flip-flop scenario. Tom's playing the Janky Combo deck, and I'm playing the Infect deck. Yeah, you have a lot of experience with Infect. Yeah. And, uh, I guess hopefully I know how to play around it. <laughs> yeah, it should be uh, pretty sweet. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be playing a mostly stock uh, post-banning uh, Infect list. I'm trying out some Jace the Mind Sculptors. I wrote about it in uh, an article a few months back, and uh, they were pretty solid when I was playing with them, but when, you know, people started playing Dig Through Time in basically every blue deck, uh, I started to do the same thing with Infect as well as Tom, and we kind of just forgot about Jace. Yeah, I think Dig Through Time kind of replaced Jace in a lot of Legacy decks, and Jace should make a comeback now that Dig's banned. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, if you don't know what Infect does, just Google it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what are you playing, Tom? I'm playing a Learn, uh, Alex Barnett's second place um, <laughs> what, deck Premier from Mil Premier Q in Milwaukee. Okay. Um, yep, it's an it's a enchantment. You cast it for four mana, two colors, two green. It makes each player's uh, creatures that cost for mana cost three or less for yeah. free. So there's a combo Oh, so I that. get to put in my Blighted Agents and my Glistener Elves for free. You do. Wow. That's a good the combo. Beard corruptors. <laughs> what does that do for you? What does that do for me? Well, it has these Imperial Recruiters, and uh, you can get any creature in a deck with Imperial Recruiter. So that's usually how it starts. After that, you get Dreamstalker, where it bounces any permanent you control. And after that, you find uh, Cavern Harpy to return to Dreamstalker to keep returning Imperial Recruiters. Um, if things go bad, you have Eternal Witness to fix it, but the kill condition is Parasitic Strix. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, just scroll out to the deck list and take a look at all the cards if you don't really know what they do. But uh, $100 common from, uh, what was it, Portal 3 Kingdoms, Imperial Recruiter? Common? Uncommon. Uncommon. Uh, Imperial Recruiter, you know, it's a, a weird tutor effect that we don't really see that much in, in Legacy. And uh, this is, is, is an old school combo deck, and if you haven't seen it before, that's probably because it's pretty over the top, I would say. Yeah, it's a, it's a fair combo deck. Um, can't kill till <laughs> turn three. Um, this version is not playing Force of Will, which is okay in a lot of uh, grindier matchups. It has eight discard spells to fill that gap. But yeah, can't win before turn three, so it has to kind of maneuver its way fairly in the early game. Yeah, I mean, with the eight discard spells, though, you can set up your combo quite nicely. And I mean, it's a, another Brainstorm combo deck like any other one, so you can always shuffle those extra bad cards away. Do you have any uh, sweet tutor effects in the deck? Or not tutor effects, uh, tutor targets in the deck, like weird creatures that are kind of sweet? Not especially. Um, the deck kind of slimmed on those <coughs> so it could play uh, Belfort Strix and Charless Agent. Okay, that um, sounds cool. The only real target is a scavenging ooze for you know, graveyard decks. Okay, cool. All right, guys, uh, well, let's go ahead and get to the match and see who takes it down. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our openers. Tom won the roll. Get a good look at this. Yeah, that's good. Has some lands, a disruption spell, an accelerant. Everything I need. Yeah, mine's a pretty classic infect hand, so that's sweet. Uh, wait, you already have ten poison counters. Oh, I just that's wait. A, that's you. That's just a ten I rolled uh, <laughs> pre-game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna be using this, and I guess we will have a tracker on the 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 screen as well. But whenever I play infect on camera, I like to use old Tommy Boy token. All right, I'm good. Let's start Wait, it off. Let me find a underground sea. I'm done. All right. It's an interesting draw. I don't know how much we'll need pen and paper this match. <laughs> we'll go ahead and keep up with it for whatever sake. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll just lead off here with a glistener elf. Let's say go. Ooh, Scariest one drop ever made, Glistener Elf. You just gonna be dead on turn two if you ain't careful. Hmm. I was gonna play a Charlotte Agent until I drew Strix. So. 18. Look, look for something sweet. <coughs> Oh, uh, we'll cast 
Bath Districts. Belfort it is. <coughs> Belfort. Let me talk to you now. All right, got a pretty good one, but I don't have a berserk yet. It's gonna be tough. Um, might just get comboed on turn three. Bring your phone. Uh, I think I want to take the brainstorm. All right, brainstorm down. You're at sixteen. Yep, I'm done. Not sure how good Jace is going to be in this matchup. I feel like uh, he can pressure it with a bunch of, you know, wonky creatures. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go and pay two to probe you since life doesn't matter too much. I'll learn the kind of one resolve. All right. We'll draw a card. Alright, I guess... Maybe I shouldn't attack. Maybe I just gotta wait. Yeah, we'll wait. Go. So, oh, we drew two unknowns. One's a Tundle Haven. Do I need to cast this Allurian right now? Probably not. Let me... Whatever. Cast this Charlotte Gate. Okay. Therapy. Yep. So this is not in play yet, so oh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. I guess. Usually, invigorate is always the best thing to name. So yeah, invigorate. Your comments. I don't care about any of that stuff right now. Get killed kill by a berserk. Just uh, cast this. All right. Yeah, I could dodge a berserk, so I'll get comments. <laughs> Seemed reasonable. Yeah, Was hoping you didn't and gave me an out. <laughs> We're in a bit of trouble. Not gonna lie. Well, maybe become this doesn't matter that much because I can start eating this graveyard pretty good. So who knows? Well, if you don't take it there, like you just have a one turn window to die. Whereas if you, like, I I don't have any one card I can draw. I have to draw brainstorm into multiple cards to kill you. Right, let's start killing you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm at sixteen. Guess okay. I should have paid Banna for that Gitaxi improve. Yeah, I don't think I need to cast it just yet. All right, so 18 all. Or sorry, six, I'm a 16 year at 18 from your parasitic Strix. Oh, yeah, you probe for it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, go. Go. What, let me you afraid. True. All right. <clears throat> uh, 14. Probably have to attack this Jace here. Hmm. Oop, forgot one. I don't want that one in the deck. That's why I left it there. Days of bad against Death Rite Shaman decks. Good. Alright, so. If I play Jason Tick Up, he can't attack and kill it without exposing himself to just dying to pump spells. Yeah, Don sucks. Uh, so we'll plus two me. Hope I don't die. We'll bottom. We'll take go. I think I'm gonna drain him, even though. <coughs> Doesn't matter, does it? It's gonna be great or something. Okay, I go to 12. Uh, I was gonna say that. <coughs> even though I might draw a brainstorm, <coughs> but I think this uh, draining is good. Don't do anything in play. Could expose myself. Now I'll move this out of the way a little bit. Get some room. Talk about 
this mall. You might be attacking him. I'm at 12. You can't kill Jace. Not easily. I think with these two it might be okay. Don't miss a drain that way. Yeah, if you're just casting Lauren, and then holding up the two death rights is better than attacking a one. She gets to exile land and drain me. Unless you're attacking Jace. But Jace too is good to die to the Strix next turn no matter what. You can't like weave up Pendlehaven and block. At least that's what I think. So I'll attack with that. All right, set two. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Am I dead? Okay, go. No, you're alive. Draw. All right, I guess brainstorm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a little hard, but. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's right. I'll explain it in a minute, but uh, we'll just play this guy. Sweet. Take go. Let me just eat one of your lands, keep it yeah, very, very low. Reasonable. Enough lands to <coughs> fill me the rest of this game. Okay. Drew a card I needed. Let's see how. What can break me up? It does cast. This forcible can stop me. Oh. Some good time to be doing this. I don't know if there's a better time to be doing this. Maybe there is. Alright, yes, this. Okay, you win, but I'm gonna let you do it. All right. So the first thing you do when you start going off, just go ahead and get all your imperial recruiters. So I get imperial recruiters and cast it again. And cast it, and if you fear you might get broken up somehow, you can leave the fourth in the deck, but you should get at least that many, at least three. You check that Dreamstalker doesn't target. It does not. No, it does not. This comes in my hand. I'll play it again. It's a good draw, I suppose. Get this Kevin Harpy. Yeah, Kevin Harpy's got an old mechanic from Plane Shift. Uh, it was called gating back in the day. Uh, I don't remember why. But I guess like you were gating between planes. That's the concept of Plane Shift. And uh, Kevin Harpy was. I think the only one that could bounce itself, so it could kind of generate this weird chain. But basically, return to creature that's either blue or black. You return Dreamstalker, play it, bounce Recruiter. Or if you need another creature out of your deck, you can. But uh, really, it's just like these I would three go ahead cards. And bounce Recruiter just to get Eternal Witness just in case. But you know, if he would have broken it up, he would have done it by now. Yeah, but basically, Kevin Harpy returns Dreamstalker. Dreamstalker returns Parasitic Strix. Parasitic Strix comes into play, drains two. So you actually gain the two life, and then you just repeat that yeah, process. Gain more one life per cycle. Yeah. And I die. All right. Had you next turn. Oh, good. Yeah, learn actually cast the spell, then put it directly into play. So they can be countered. Yeah. All right, on the play here for game two, and we have a pretty reasonable start. Uh, I think... Try not to give me too much information on your opening hand, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to keep. Okay, you do. <coughs> okay. Uh, lead with Noble Hierarch and say go. Alright. 19. I need... Green... Black? Green, black. That's where Tom from. The Bayou. 
I have to fire off this uh, blind cabal therapy, but I should be okay. Too bad I don't have my ley line of sanctity. It resolves. In the dark against blue decks, they all have four brainstorm, and that's a card that love lets hands be kept more often than not, so I'm named brainstorm. Ding dong. Okay. All right, untap, draw. I guess I'll fetch and play these two doofuses. Good. Okay. And sure go. Is it blind? Blind. Is it? <laughs> well, let me snipe that card. It's going to be sweet if I do. All right. Yeah, vines. You got it. You yeah, just said vines. Vines of Vestwood. <laughs> vines isn't a card. Sorry. It's a blind oh. agent. Yeah. My hand got smaller more real All quick. Right. All right. Six, yeah. Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There it is right there. It's like either that or just wait for it to get knocked out of my hand. Go. I don't know if I can win in time. No, I can crack that. Well, I mean, you're only at six. Oh, I guess you miss a land drop. <laughs> I'm not missing a land drop. Oh, wait, I, I can win in time. I'm tripping. Yeah. Let me get out of here. I'm just going to lose to the Lauren and over and over again, all five games. Yeah, I could just die here. Yeah, I got a few outs. Whack. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I got a few outs. Block that elf here. Whoop. Oh, actually, this is an out. You actually can't block. Or if you don't block, you die. So, yeah, we'll pump it and now. <laughs> Yes, actually, I guess he can just chain off and witness me. All right, whatever. Go. You're at eight. All right. Tilt. All right. Yep, that's great. Life's great. Tom's great. Naaman. I'm I think so. Huh? Dreamstalker pair, or Dreamstalker into Cavern Harpy. Bounce. Go get witness. Get back, Strix. Kill me. All right, I guess we'll slow down here. This is all obvious, but uh, let's come back. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, okay. Don't want to shortcut too much, but yep, there's that e bit. Eternal witness. Yeah. All right, get drained. I'm gonna make you do it every time. All right, drain two. Drain for two. Where we at? Uh, I'm at 19. Pay one life for turn cabin harpy. Okay. Play it. Okay. Drain for two. I gain right. two. That's fine. Pay one life for drink. <laughs> uh, we're uh, good. We're go. Good. I was just. All right. He said go. Upkeep. Play Gavin RP. All right. In response, uh, <laughs> I'm going to Pendlehaven that. Resolve. Okay. All right. Play straight. All right. I gain two life. Okay. What we at? Uh, All right. All right. Paid live returned it. All right, fine. Flip my cards like this. Can I just do this? <laughs> you have demonstrated the loop. Man. Tilt City. Yeah, Tilted City. Okay. All right, we're here for sideboarding. Uh, I'll let Tom start since he doesn't seem to have too much going on over there. Uh, I guess first off, I should have said earlier, I changed uh, Alex Barnett's deck by two cards. One's Intuition main deck. Which had to go over the dig through time that got banned. Uh, the second is a bone trader sideboard over a plague bear. Um, pretty much, I am. These are kind of slowish, so I'm trying to keep pace with the uh, cards that kind of do some good things. Scavenger News doesn't do anything, and uh, as far as life gain goes, against infect strategy. Um, static Hacks are good against all those one toughness guys and non black creatures and non basic lands. Um, I have more cards in the sideboard. I guess I have the abrupt decay. <coughs> I'm sorry, abrupt decays and a pithing needle for possibly. Ink Moth Nexus, but from my experience, um, Abrupt Decay existing is a reason to play Infect because it's so inefficient against it. Um, it's either trade down mana wise by killing a, an elf or a noble hierarch, you sometimes hit a blight agent for even mana, and that's okay. But it can't hit Ink Moth Nexus, and you have Vines of Vastwood to uh, counter it without and 
without the you know can't be counter clause mm -hmm. working in. But. Okay, uh, my side. Uh, he's pretty heavy discard. Civil Library is pretty good against that strategy. Jace is usually good against that type of strategy, except that Tom has a bunch of just like incidentally decent creatures against me that are all like high toughness, <laughs> low to medium power. And uh, Jace can't really afford to bounce anything. And as you saw in game one when I drew it, I just had to tick up the first time so it didn't die. So you lose a lot of value that way. Uh, but so we're going to be boarding out Daze because he's a death right shaman deck and uh, Daze is usually pretty bad against death right um, and Jace again is, is mediocre against his swarm of little guys finds a vast wood his deck doesn't have a ton of removal we don't want to cut all of them because we sometimes just need to draw a pump spell and vines is, is good enough sometimes uh, we're going to be bringing in a sylvan library fourth force of will Blow Mental Blast seems kind of strange to be bringing in, but it does counter Imperial Recruiter, which is the heart of his combo, uh, once he casts Aluren. So uh, I think it's going to be fine, and luckily he does have a few red cards coming in that it does counter as well. Uh, two Crotion Grips uh, to help out against Aluren, but we actually can't cast it uh, to kill the Aluren uh, unless he like initiates with a creature like an Imperial Recruiter or something, so... Yeah. You mean oh, you no, okay, never mind. It's, it's split second. I'm stupid. Never mind. Ignore that last sentence. Code and grip, great. All right. Uh, I'm on the play here for game three. Let's hope I can rally back and take this match down. Uh, my hand is pretty solid. Don't want to say too much about it, though, because of the existence of Cabal Therapy. So. Uh, my hand is good for six cards. Um, uh, Belfort Strix is one of the best cards in the matchup for me. Okay, that's good. Better than uh, having the lead on something else on turn one. Yeah, go. Um, okay. Infect decks usually, I don't want to say usually, but about half the time they run Stifle. But I know he doesn't, so I'm just going to not ask questions when I fetch. Well. Yep, that's gonna be another one of those games, I guess. <laughs> yeah, blood agent good. <laughs> Wee. I might need to remember that. Let me face up for a second. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pay two for a probe just in case I randomly draw a uh, infector here, especially if it's Nexus. Right, there goes my hand. Try to brainstorm off the top real quick. That would be tight. All right, play the forest. Play noble hierarch. Kill you with regular damage. Here we go. Do you even play berserk? What's going on? Black green, I believe. Sounds just pump spells. There's no reason to try to uh, snag those yet with cabal therapy. Unless he tries to regular damage me. That might <laughs> suck. Strix done resolved. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, you're up. Draw. Go. Hmm. What a draw, what a draw. That had to be the worst draw I could draw. <laughs> You're at what, 16? Am I? Yes, I am. Yeah, I guess I'll play it. No, I can't play it. Because I don't have enough mana to play. Alright, cast this Cabal Therapy. Okay. This week, Covenants is also good. So invigorated to be. Key grip. Neat. Okay. I think I need even more black mana to run there. Well, maybe if I start death right shooting them. I guess I definitely don't need green, so. This is resolved. 
cast another Baleful Strix. Okay. And get at you. Alright, 17. Alright, you're up. Hmm. Dried Arbors. I'm gonna corrosion grip your untapped Baleful Strix. It's probably not gonna work. He is one short of dying to Berserk, which kind of sucks, but True. maybe I'll draw Brainstorm and some goodies. All right. Attack. 14. Well, we drew one, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough. Take go. These are my other two. Problem with Crozier Grip there, since he has therapy in the yard, is that uh, he can always just therapy me before casting the Aloran. Okay. But so I can die to. Can I die to? My hand. I can die to. Nothing, I don't think. So let me. Safe my plan this. Pretty safe, I think. Yeah, hit you. Okay, 16. I'm going for your debt. I'll bind it. Okay. That's Echo, don't die. Oh, you're sure. Make it come in. So I don't think anything kills me. Yeah, so go. Okay. Alrighty. Attack for two. Go. We didn't screw that up. I might have. I think that was fine play. Okay. I might have just, uh. Yeah, sure. Sure. Name Blue Elemental Blast. Uh, shoot that thing. Yep. <laughs> 15. The whale lands, I'll remember. Ah, uh, you win. I give up. Sweet. What about Cascade into Dream Stalker? Going infinite. Alright, we're on six here for game four. Uh, we're on the play, and this is one of the reasons why I don't think the new Mulligan rule is going to affect older formats very much. Because we have a really tough decision of, if the top card of our deck is good, we, uh, we don't want to fetch. So it's going to be weird. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep. Yeah, I'm on six as well. Uh, did you scry? I have not yet. Was, yeah, I'm keeping six. Okay, so I'll scry first. And we're definitely just going to keep this. Uh, it seems pretty sweet, so yeah, sure. I'm just looking for a land, pretty much. Ah, uh, so Closest thing to a land is not a land. Closest thing to a land is not a land. Yeah, Alright, uh lead off with an ink moth nexus. Let's say go. Um I think I'll shoot off a of blind therapy again. Yeah, resolves. That can't cast therapy. Oh yeah, you're right. Do they even want green? I think they just grabbed the wrong thing. I think I have a green spell I do, but Okay. Go with a man on six cards. Keep with an ink moth nexus. Must be a way to kill me fast. That resolves, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, invigorated it is. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna cast Noble and Tigo. Man, that's so tough. Yep, 19 all. Hope I don't lock myself. Sure. I did. Whatever. Let's have land drops. Yo. 
Well, I suppose this one might be easy. All right. Oh, let me put the wrong card on. Wrong two on the dock. Well, I want to change it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why? No, I'll keep it the same. Sorry. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just brainstorm, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I won't keep it the same. I actually want to cascade through these cards. Forgot to um, cascade in something. All right, here purpose. goes. Yeah. Yep. Might be dead, but. I think take a risk. I need to get this learned off the top of my library for sure. What do you have before Noble and some things? And I just brainstormed. What can kill me soon, I guess. I guess I have two shots at it too, so I'm bad. Uh I'm just you're dead if you don't play force right. Like I, I left two cards on top to kill you with Jace, so two cards on top? Yeah, I'm brainstorm next round. Oh, okay. Like, I'll have a Sylvan Library. You name Sylvan Library, you got it. Uh, well, where are your cards then? I, I would have missed and not, not named it. Again, sure. Then I would have passed. All right, so untap, draw for turn, Drew become immense, brainstorm, find berserk, or invigorate, sorry. And then put this and this back. Activate right, two, six, twelve. Yeah, I could have cast Belfort Strix and not died, but I was going to draw a third to learn if I did that. So we're here for game five. My hand is good. Well, I'll probably need a third land, but I'm sure that'll happen. That's what you think. My hand's great. Okay. Uh, blue, black. It's less great, but it's still great. Take the card that's going to kill me. I ain't looked <laughs> your hand yet. Well, they're all... Not that, oh. that's not how that works. There's one of the better hands, I guess. These are the two standouts, I assume. It's always the blue cards that are the one that stand out. My scared of my scared of blind agent. Mm. Kinda. I think I'm do all right if I don't get killed by blind agent. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. So that changes my. Game plan a little. Well, maybe not. Alright, go. Pretty good, I think. It lets me cast this without having to fetch for another blue or black. I need to fetch for, I believe, uh, Tega. Uh, yep, go. All I know is a brainstorm, so it might be alive, it might not be. We'll see. It's gonna have to be a pretty good brainstorm. Same. I don't know if I want to try this brainstorm to a good card or. Sure. Might as well fire off the brainstorm now. If he takes it, we lose value. At the very least, we can put a two cards on top, one of which we want to protect on the very top, and then one we want to shuffle away right below it. Uh, guess Brainstorm, whatever. Okay. Hmm.
That's what we want. Yeah, Nexus over Glistener Elf. So we'll do it like that. Okay, probe or blue blast. Yep, probe um, therapy with blue blast. Okay. And um one, two, three. Act for one, I guess. Hmm. Okay, yeah, sorry. So fetch plus one attack and that's it, so eighteen. Yep. What do you at? Let's see, Thoughtseize double fetched. Two Thoughtseize, two fetch. Mm -hmm. So, 14. Yep. Alright, draw. We'll get off here with this brainstorm. See if we can kill him. Nope. Sweet. So, I guess we'll leave this one on top to cast next turn. Hopefully, we don't die. Attack for three. Go. Am I dead? No. That's a drunken car. That's a bad car. Encounter you this. Gonna die. Didn't have time to impair a recruiter for anything. Card. You're at 13, I'm at 17. I have one card. One third from the graveyard. Bam, gets on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You in there for me? Or no? No, I guess I'm probably just gonna die to that big raid on top. Uh, cast Jace. Okay. And. Mm, I may have messed up. Would have had less time than that. Actually, I should probably fetch and hold up Pendlehaven because that gives me a live draw at Invigorate. And plus, I can attack with Glistener Elf, and he probably wants to block it. Alright, cuts. All right, uh, Jace comes in at three. I guess we could bounce Belful Strix, attack with both. He doesn't have to block the. So. All right, we'll just go for the kill. Brainstorm. We can draw Become Events or Invigorates. Oh, we drew both. All right. Uh, you pump this guy, you gain four life, attack for seven. Really bad. Yeah! Infect's great. Static hmm, caster, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was demoralizing. What for it? me. For me. You're on a 2 0 streak against me right now in games. <laughs> Running <You're> hot. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a mistake, I think, to board out the Jaces against the Cabal Therapy deck. Feel dumb. Uh, Jace was just insane every time I cast it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the Aloran deck, that one's way more of uh, an interesting topic. So let's talk about that. Uh, well, the first two games, I just had it naturally, Aloran and uh, Imperial Recruiter. A little Game bit of four, I so. drew too many Aloran's and I died. Game five, I didn't draw any Aloran's and I died. Um, I took out cards that found the combo, which may have been a mistake. Say if I had like Diabolic Intent in game five, maybe I could have found a learn and beat you. I had Imperial Recruit the whole, the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, recruiting for um, bullets, this naturally is kind of slow. Uh, I had Imperial Recruiter and I had like, you know, Static Caster and uh, Bone, Sh Shredder, Bone Shredder, yeah. Shredder in my deck, and I just didn't have really enough time to spend two turns just doing that and killing a creature. But the, the deck looks good. Um, I kind of expected to win a game through normal damage somehow without the learn combo. Um, I feel like I can play a lot like a um, Charlotte's Bug, Bug deck, yeah. Or maybe even something like a, the Rug Twin deck, the Tarma Twin deck. 
Yeah, it's definitely true if uh, if you can get some death rate shamans into play early, uh, just to help ramp you into like turn two shardless agents, and then later in the game you just use them to start draining me while attacking for two a bunch. Uh, but as far as just like attacking me to death with like baleful strix, it doesn't seem that easy. Um, you know, you, you want to hold back on defense a lot against me, and uh, I think you just want to be really hard up on combo and use play like turtle up behind baleful strix and. And disruption, and just try to draw the combo. I think yeah. that's the best best course of action. Yeah, playing super fair is hard to do without Tarmogoyf itself. Mm -hmm. Could just board Tarmogoyf in. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I mean the deck could just have this weird shift uh, where it boards in like Tarmogoyf ancestral visions, just boards out Allura and Dreamstalker and Pill Recruiter and stuff. Yeah, yeah probably maybe under, you leave Recruiter. I probably underboarded for the matchup. Um, Blood Agent is hard to deal with. Uh, usually, I'm leaning on something like uh, Belfort Strix to to solve my blocking problems, but mm -hmm. uh, I probably should bronze some abrupt decays. Even though I don't like them against Infect, I always or usually trades down. Um, Blight is just too much of a problem. Yeah, uh, as far as uh, the Infect side is concerned, this matchup does seem a little tough, I'm not going to lie. A lot Discard spells are generally better, I think, against Infect than uh, counter spells, especially Force of Will, because uh, you're like two for one in yourself, whereas Cabal Therapy sometimes is like, a virtual one for two. Like, it's the opposite. Yeah. Infect against Force World decks. Infect just grinds them out with Penal Haven, Noble Hierarch attacks. Yeah, it, it used to not be the case when Dig Through Time was legal, and, uh, you know, the Infect decks were having a pretty tough time at, at just beating all these decks that would go, removal, 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 dig. Or removal, removal, counterspell, dig. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but now that they don't have Dig Through Time, the only real way to, to get, go up on resources that they have is, like, Snapcaster Mage and uh, Jason Mind Sculptor. And those cards, like... You know, you can play around those pretty easily because they're kind of expensive. Like, Snapcaster Mage costs a virtual three mana at the very least, and uh, Jason Mind Sculptor costs four. So, like, your dazes are going to be great against decks that play that kind of stuff. Now, against decks like uh, the Aloran deck where Tom has Deathrite Shaman, uh, he has Belfal Strix, a bunch of discard. I, I don't really have that much time either. Um, like, my clock is limited because you have this Aloran combo just kind of waiting in the wings. And, um, there's, a, there's a fear in both of us. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that that was kind of an interesting uh, back and forth, and I, I do think the Aloran has a, a lot going for it. Like Tom said, the deck does kind of look like Tarma Twin in Modern, where you have this kind of fair game plan. Like, you don't play Tarmogoyf, but, like, you do have this, like, beatdown plan with, like, Shardless Agents and stuff like that, but also, uh, you know, this combo on, like, turn four that a lot of people just can't really beat if you if they don't have, like, a counterspell. Mm -hmm. And you have so much disruption with your eight discard spells that... Excuse me. That it's actually kind of easy to force through the combo if you just naturally draw it. Yeah, I did like the discard spells quite a bit. Um, just having early interaction. Um, I always felt like I wanted another black source. Belfort Strix was hard to cast a lot of times, especially with a a force and a take in my deck, and maybe I want to cast a, a one a black mana discard spell too. But I don't think there's really any way to fix that. Um, you have to pay the play all three play basic lands, land. maybe underground sea. No, that doesn't work. No, no, blue black into green red doesn't work. So yeah, Belville Strix plus Taiga in your deck is kind of weird, I guess. I just part of the design <laughs> is something to deal with, I guess. Yep. Anyway, guys, uh, it's going to be all for me and Tom the Boss Ross this week on the Versus series. Make sure to join us this weekend in St. Louis uh, for uh, 15 rounds of Swiss coverage, followed by top eight of the Star City Games Legacy Open in St. Louis, Missouri. I might be going. I don't know yet. It's pretty far. It's far. Like uh, I'm 13 a, hours. I must think about it. If we go, we'll probably fly. So I don't know. I'm really. I could. I could use some uh, barbecue. Oh no, that's Kansas City. Oh, they're close enough, right? Yeah. There's probably a good barbecue in St. Louis. Probably. Yeah. Whatever. All right, guys. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we'll just see you soon. Yep. See you.